My name is Catherine Phoenix, and I'm running for Tribal Council candidacy for the Reno Sparks Indian Colony and Hungry Valley community. As a single mother of five children, education is very important to me. One year ago, I lost my children's father to cancer. Martin Lopez worked for the school district for 15 years. Our support came from the Reno Sparks Indian Colony and Martin's co-workers, and they were there to tutor and support their educational needs. I support my children in their extracurricular activities. My daughter Kaylee is currently serving in the service in North Carolina. My son Christian Lopez is a senior at Spanish Springs High School and is the battalion commander. My daughter Francine is a sophomore and my youngest son Martin Jr. is in sixth grade. My oldest son Nicholas likes to read books and help out with things around the house. As a resident of Hungry Valley, housing development, education, sports, and safety is very important when it comes to our community in the Reno Sparks and Colony in Hungry Valley. I would like to see more parent and grandparent involvement in presentations through the education department on how to use online ingenuity program and attend classes online successfully. My concern is the special needs program. Are there Are they meeting the needs of our children's IEPs? What can we do to assist now and in the future to provide assistance with their education, having a plan in place during the pandemic and in the future? I would like to see the gym open for classes and presentations for both the adults and students. In returning to somewhat normalcy, both gyms should reopen and provide a safe haven for our children so that they can enjoy being around their peers. Trust, respect, and compassion in our education department is very important. We are going through situations during this COVID-19 pandemic. I will not agree to a vote on a Washoe County School District form, which allows the truancy officer to pressure our parents and grandparents with the fear of involving the tribal court system. All areas of concern should be brought to the attention of the Reno Sparks Indian Colony Education Department, and there should be no sharing of information of any student due to confidentiality. Housing and public works, I would like to see more landscaping throughout our community, utilizing the heavy machinery to clearing our yards and dig holes for fencing and improving our yards. We need more housing developments in Hunger Valley to fencing off our boundaries and keeping our residents safe from harm. There are many areas of concern and I'm only one person. I will have dedication with an open mind and a voice to protect our tribal members. I will listen respectfully to our members' opinions and suggestions and needs. I am not afraid to stand up for what I believe in and together we can live in a safe environment prosper and live in harmony in keeping our community safe. Accountability and following policies and procedures are very important. If elected in office on November 6, 2021, I will not profit or gain from another tribal member's misfortune, nor will I have nothing to do with evicting a tribal member from their homes. I would like to see the tribal member utilize and exhaust any and all programs to help regain strength, self-respect, and support in their time of regarding their home and family if they should ever fall victim to drugs and alcohol. I will not be responsible for leaving a family or a tribal member homeless. I will do my best to protect, maintain stability and have a voice for our members of the Reno Sparks Indian Colony. Once this is established, then we can come up with a solution of what programs can help our tribal members successfully continue to be a part of the Reno Sparks Indian Colony community. In having faith and trust in me, I, Catherine Phoenix, would appreciate your vote on November 6th. Thank you.